Hi guys, Dr. Nora here. Now I'm always being asked what's the best skincare routine for my face. Today I'm going to be having my very first microdermabrasion to my face and of course I'll be showing you exactly what that is, what it involves and whether it's worth your time. So let's find out and see how we get on. Thanks, Moana, for doing this for me today. Can you tell That's me a little bit about what microdermabrasion actually is? So a microdermabrasion is essentially, it's like a deep exfoliation. So we're abrading the surface of the skin um, to remove those dead skin cells. So the skin complexion is a lot nicer, smoother, more refined. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to start with a cleanse, then we're going to use a machine called our sonophoresis, which is an ultrasonic, helps to clean out the pores um, and leaves the skin really squeaky clean. Then it's just prepping for our micros. It's like a suction mm -hmm. and it abrades the surface of the skin. So it'll feel a little bit like a sort of a little scratch slightly, mm -hmm. but nothing unbearable. Okay. Um, then we're going to go on to the heel light and the heel light finishes off the treatment really nicely. It hits the skin at a cellular level and it promotes um, healing and anti-aging, basically. Fantastic. Yeah. That sounds too good to be true, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> what health benefits does a microdermabrasion have to the skin? So, I mean, it's gonna take away those dead skin cells so the skin's more vibrant, more healthy looking. Uh, it's going to refine pores, it's going to help balance out the pigmentation. That yeah. sounds awesome, I can't wait to get going. Yeah. Is it something that you need to get done like a few times a week so or you, every month or how often? Microdermabrasion you can get done as a boost for the skin every month, but sometimes depending on the skin type, people will do it every two weeks um, okay. or every three weeks. Is there too much microdermabrasion? Can you have it too many times? Or Yeah, you can do. Um, it's not always good for say a skin with fine capillaries right, okay. right on the surface of the skin because that suction that's involved. Gotcha. So you don't want to aggravate do anything it. too harsh or yeah. aggravate the gotcha. skin. So yeah. Because it could make it more pigmented, would you say? Uh, it could make, it could actually pull those. Uh, the vessels. Yeah, the vessels, uh, like a thread, so they get bigger. Yeah. Got you. Okay, well that's really interesting. So um, I'm really excited. Do you think my skin is good enough to sort of? Yeah, get, I think get your skin will love love Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Yeah. And you also mentioned the heel light as well. Could you tell me a little so bit? So the, the heel light, light is? is this um, light here. Yeah. So this is um, the use of light therapy, and we're going to use it at an 8:30 nanometer wavelength. And what okay. that's doing is it's going to penetrate the skin, and it's going to treat the skin at a cellular level, creating collagen production. Fantastic. So it's really good for anti-aging, it's really good post-treatment, um, just to really um, give you the best results. Fantastic, yeah. I cannot wait to get going. Is it gonna hurt? It's not gonna hurt, we'll do it to your comfort level. Lovely, yeah. yay, I'm excited. Okay, let's get going. So I think you're gonna move my makeup first, is that Yes. Right? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get going. Thank you, Moana. Yay. So Moana, it's my first time. Yes. I've never had this done before. I'm going to I'm gonna do a little um, test on your hand anyway okay. so you can know what you'll expect to feel and I'll right. guide you through the whole Lovely. treatment. So Thank it's not so that much. big. Not a big shock to your system. Yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. I'm looking forward to it actually. Yes. I really am. Good. I've had some good things. Okay, so what we'll do is we're going to pop. So we're just about to get started. We're gonna clean off all of the makeup and get going. How am I feeling right now? I'm excited and a bit nervous as well. The suction sounds a little bit daunting, <laughs> but hopefully it's gonna be fine. The other funny thing is being in this on this couch as a patient is, uh, is an interesting feeling. Usually I'm the one who's standing up. So yeah, I really feel for my patients. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. It's quite daunting to be a patient. Awesome. Thank you. Um, after the skin, you will expect just there, there to be a little bit of erythema in the skin, so a little bit of redness, okay. Okay. because we're abrading the surface of the skin. So, um, but it'll feel so much smoother, and especially after the light, it'll go red, Fantastic. but it'll feel awesome. So, awesome! I can't wait. Okay. So we're just cleansing the surface of the skin. Mm -hmm. On our second cleanse, we'll go on to the sonophoresis. What does that mean? Which, um, well, what it is, is it's, a, it's an ultrasonic. Mm -hmm. And what it does, it vibrates the skin and the pore to help cleanse the skin. Okay. Yeah, so it's a really, it's like a deep cleanse. Mm -hmm. um, and what it does is it just really preps the skin for your micro. Oh, nice. 
got to say, this by itself is actually really relaxing. <laughs> this cleanser so um, it might tingle a little bit okay. um, if it feels different it's because it's yeah it's more sort of refining on the skin gotcha. um, yeah. taking it um, the oil off the surface of the skin okay. so this is when it starts to get uh is this when you start the microdone abrasion no this is oh, when okay. i'm going to do the ultras um, ah, okay. ultrasonic cool because this is a really great treatment. Um, if you had really congested pores, this yeah. would vibrate them out. Really? But yeah, so it's still, it's a really, really good cleanse. Ooh. So it's not, it doesn't hurt. Yeah. Nice, it's and quite gentle. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's gentle. gentle, yeah. Nice and gentle. Mm -hmm. How do I look? <laughs> so we're just gonna start, it doesn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and it really just removes all that extra makeup. Like even Excellent. though we've cleansed, yeah. See how you can see that that makeup still there? Yeah. Wow. It feels really good actually. I'm sure there's like days of makeup that you just can't get rid of. <laughs> That's not feeling uncomfortable, is it? No, it's, it's quite fine. relaxing. Yeah, also. it is. My face feels really clean actually already. Yeah. That's it's good. Pretty impressive. So I've had three cleansers, is it now? Yes. Yeah, three, so three cleansers, wow. I guess people with acne and who've got acne, active acne, would you recommend doing this to them? Or? Uh, yeah, absolutely, because it's helping to, uh, yeah. you know, cleanse the pore and stuff like that. Yeah. So if you're removing that, it's not giving it any reason to uh, break out as much. Okay. You take away that surface, yeah. the surface issue anyway, but it'll always come from inside out anyway. So. Got you, yeah. Okay. But yeah, it can help really refine okay. the skin. Very good. Very and good. smooth it out. Lovely. So if you can imagine, like when you when we've done yours, how much yeah. result you get. Yeah. Imagine a person with really bad skin or really yeah. rough skin; they're going to get even more result. Very or good. someone with a lot of blackheads, they're going to get a lot of. Oh really? Okay. They'll get a lot of um, response from the treatment. So fantastic! So it's good for blackheads and yeah, blackheads, and fine lines. Very good. Uh, evening out skin tone for pigmentation. <laughs> so. You're going to feel a suction, it's like a vacuum and a, like a little bit of a scratch which is abrading the surface of the skin, mm -hmm. okay? Oh yeah. My face feels really keen, it feels quite tight already. Um, this was fun, it's a bit sharp and it feels like a suction, so uh, let's see how it goes on the face. Oh wow, that is so like, it feels like it's a really deep clean. Is that hurting at all or is that comfortable? It just feels a little bit sharp. Yeah, it just, it's just sharp but it's comfortable. It just feels like, how can I describe it? A bit like a stone is just like suctioning your skin. It's like a really deep exfoliation. Like mm. it just feels like you're scrubbing your face with something Yeah. really quite, it's quite nice. And so um, you can see how that's gone a little bit pink mm. on the surface of the skin. Okay, so we're going to go to the side. So we're going to go down. It can get okay. a little bit more tender along sort of okay. here. Okay. If anything feels tender, just let me know. I will do. So 
you will start to feel a bit of heat in the skin mm -hmm. just because you know we're abrading that surface those surface cells so almost like a little bit sunburned Shaved or? Uh, it's better if they come in shaved because you can get to the skin the like skin. you, yeah. If they've got all the beard in the way, you're not going to have that yeah. suction as, as good. Yeah. Okay. What about these home kits that you can buy? Are those any good, do you know? Or? Uh, yeah, I think they are, but um, you know, there's different sort of strengths that you'd be able to use at home. You wouldn't be able to, like, it wouldn't be the strength of a professional. Yeah, of course. Um, machine. Got you. How's that feeling? Have, can you feel that heat in the skin? Yeah, it, it feels like it's starting to tingle. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And you can see that as I go, it's sort of... It's getting more done. Yeah, well you can see, I can, I can, I'm following each line, so oh, okay. when I'm going like this, I'm going right over it because I can see where I've been. Yeah, it definitely feels like the blood vessels are popping up and they're, mm. they're saying hello and they're tingling. But it's a nice feeling, it's not a bad feeling. And I can feel a little bit of heat in the skin too, and that's normal. Okay. Now, if you want, have a little feel of your skin and just see what it feels like. It feels smoother. Oh, wow. It feels really smooth. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It feels a lot smoother. I'll sit up so you guys can have a look. So that's just one, that's the microdermabrasion done. And um, my skin feels a lot smoother already. It feels very warm and it feels like it is tingly as well, particularly around the nose area and the chin. I think that's the most sensitive part. My forehead doesn't feel as tingly. Um, but yeah, it feels good. Like it feels like there's a lot of dead cells coming out. And yeah. I feel like it's refreshing as well, which is really nice. Lovely. Let's carry on. Yeah, yes, this is good. This. <laughs> so, I might become addicted. <laughs> so now I'm going to pop on some B5. So it's really hydrating on the skin. That might tingle a little bit. Okay. Because that's a hyaluronic acid. So we're putting it on topically, just like mm. um, the same as what you use in fillers. It's that's a, right. But it's a different, different viscosity. Um, completely different. So. Uh, so it's nice and hydrating on the skin. So we're just going to pop this on. As I said, it might tingle a mm -hmm. little bit just because we're, you know, the treatment that we've just done. Yeah, okay. It's actually really soothing. And so how often would you recommend something like this on a just a regular average person? Um, if you're trying to achieve like um, something with the skin, like mm -hmm. you're trying to get a certain particular result, if you if mm. you if your skin isn't perfect, mm. um, then you would probably you know do them every two to three weeks. Okay. But when when you've got perfect skin, just yeah. even once a month's really nice, just to remove those dead skin cells that we all build up. Of course. and we've yeah. taken away those dead skin cells, it's really good to use something hydrating just to replenish the skin. Okay. Um, so we'll pop this on and then we'll go on to our heel light. Lovely, thank you. And the heel light's safe, isn't it? For heel light is safe. So, um, yeah, uh, it's really healing on the skin. Um, there's two different lights that you can use. So we're going to use the one that's for anti-aging and healing of the skin. Um, the other one is for um, antibacterial, which is a blue light. So we're using the uh, yellow light. Okay. And so when would you use the antibacterial one? Uh, for someone with um, acne, acneic skin, okay. infection. Right, okay. Uh, so would that help to reduce the appearance of acne as well? Absolutely. Fantastic. But presumably like after a few sessions absolutely like yeah you'd have to have a series of treatments and it would really help to support you know that skin healing getting rid of the bacteria that's under the surface of the skin mm. and then yeah so this is me after the hyaluronic acid uh, cream massage massage massaged in, yeah. yeah so hyaluronic acid cream massage into my face after the microdermabrasion 
<laughs> Sorry, what were you saying? That's all right. Yeah. Um, we used to use the uh, Heal Light mm. post um, injectables if someone was a bruiser or they had bruised because oh, it okay. helps to uh, minimise that bruising. Oh, okay. So even after, you know, if you've got a ma like massive bruise, yeah. that'll help break it down. Fantastic. Yeah. It's good to know. I'm super excited about this next part because my face is feeling fantastic. It feels tight, it feels clean. I just want to touch it and just see what it feels like. I might touch. Oh, it feels so soft. Oh my goodness. I don't think my face has ever felt this soft before. It'll feel it feels awesome. amazing. Gosh, it's definitely worth it. It doesn't feel like my face, basically. I'm actually pleasantly surprised because I have to say, Mona, I was a bit cynical going into this. Yeah. And I did think that maybe it wouldn't really do much, but actually, just feeling my face right now, it feels super soft. Yeah. So I thank you, and I'm excited okay. to see what happens with the heel light. Great. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get heel lights. Just pop this. Thank you. Um. People that um, use the heel light quite a lot will go without the goggles because they want to treat around the eye area too because okay. of the anti-aging um, aspect. But yeah, on the first go, yeah. good to have the goggles on. Um, just the thing, yeah. Thank you. This wavelength of light, it doesn't damage the eyes at all. Now you will feel a heat penetrating through. Yeah. through with this light but it's not causing t tanning or anything like that because it doesn't hit, hit the skin at a melanin level you will sense the light okay. um, but the light that is actually working on your skin is mm. actually invisible the light that you can you will sense mm. is actually just to show that the bulbs are actually working so oh, right, okay. so we're going to start that yeah. and you'll see them kind of moving across mm -hmm. I'm going to move that around the face. So that's quite close to your face as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm just starting to feel a bit of warm now. Yeah. And I can see like a light flickering around my eyes. Yes. Is that because the beam is changing or? Yeah, that, that, that's just to show each bulb is working, but the light that's actually working on your skin is invisible light. Got you. So that ye yellow light that you can see, that's not actually the light that's okay. working on your skin. Got you, yeah. And then slowly as it's getting more longer, I'm starting to feel more heat on my face, but it feels like, it's not an uncomfortable heat, it feels like just a warm, a warm feeling, which is nice. Like lying in the sun. Yeah, yeah exactly, like yeah. lying in the sun. So that, that, that light, what we've got that on, is that's going to go for about 13 minutes. Okay. So um, you will feel that heat get gradual a little bit more, um, but it, it doesn't burn. It's not going to be burning the skin or anything like that. So if someone has even arthritis, the light can really help improve, you know, just their comfort okay. uh, because it, it helps to reduce the inflammation. I can see why as well, because it's quite warm. So like that warmth as well just helps to reduce the inflammation as well. Because you know what you say is if you have like an ankle sprain or something, you always say put a heat pack on it so it gets better. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So then I feel like with the warmth as well, it just helps those cells to regenerate. Mm. And even now my face feels quite warm and I feel like my blood's pulsating underneath it, which feels nice as well. Yeah. It's like when you go to the gym and you work out really hard and you get that warm feeling in your face. That's what it feels like. It feels good. Just gonna lift it up and just check the skin. Yeah, no worries. See how like refined the skin is and how smooth it looks. Now I'm just gonna put it back over, but mm. It, it'll just be really, really smooth and refined and bright. It's a long time, but if you just, you actually will just nod off if you're not mm. concentrating on being under there. Yeah. Yeah. You'll notice when you put your makeup on afterwards, yeah. it will just go on like silk. Really? Because yeah. Yeah, the, the, your skin canvas basically is a lot more refined. Fantastic. Yeah. It definitely feels tighter. My skin feels tight at the moment as well. Yeah. 
with a microderm abrasion, you always have to be careful in the sun afterwards because we've removed those dead skin cells, there's fresh baby skin cells okay. underneath that are exposed. So okay. you need to be aware of that. Um, okay. So you have to wear sunscreen and just protect your skin. How long for it? Or just uh, in general? Or? Yeah, in general okay. I would too because, yeah. yeah. And so you're going to be able to yeah. sun especially. Got you. And then after today, so should I moisturise as normal at night time? Or? Uh, you can do, yeah. yeah. Lots, lots of hydration on the skin. Yeah. Uh, don't go and do a workout after this. Avoid that for 24 hours just okay. because you don't want to break up that sweat on the skin and right, okay. um, get the blood flow going back to the surface of the skin. Sure. Um, okay. Yeah, I'll take that off. It feels good. It feels nice now that it's off me because it's a lot cooler. Yes. Um, it's quite refreshing having that coolness after that heat, but it still feels tight. My face feels tight. It feels energized. I feel like the blood is just underneath the surface of my skin. It feels feels nice. It feels really good. Now, you're just when your eyes are adjusting, just so don't open them straight oh. away, but it's feel <laughs> feel your skin like it'll feel really smooth. Oh, wow. It does feel really smooth. Even smoother than before. Yeah, it certainly does. Yeah, yeah. It, it does. It does feel smoother, for sure. Yeah, my forehead feels particularly smooth as well, actually. My cheeks. Can I sit up? Yes. Perfect. So there we have it. So I've just completed my first heel light. Um, my face feels super smooth. feels really tight as well, actually. My forehead feels like... It almost feels frozen, a bit like when you have anti-wrinkle. Obviously, it's not an anti-wrinkle whatsoever, but it does feel tight. It feels like that collagen has been stimulated. It, it feels, it feels very nice. And the skin's glowing too. Skin's you can see that. It, it'll feel hotter mm -hmm. than it actually, like you can feel the heat in the skin. Yeah. That's that's totally normal. Okay. Feels you, quite you, cooling to have the sunscreen on. Yeah. Yeah. And um, when you see your, you will, you'll probably be thinking it's redder than what it is, but okay. it's not. Yeah. Okay. Your skin's really responded well to that treatment. There you go. Wow, good. It's starting to tingle a little. Oh, sorry, yeah, go for it. Sorry. Oh, tingling a little tingling. bit from the actual yeah. sunscreen. Yeah. So a bit of a tingle, but I feel, I feel like I feel a bit awake as well. I feel like my cells, those dead cells, have gone. My skin feels smooth. I'm going to have a look in the mirror very shortly and see what it looks like. But I'm very excited. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Moana. Really You're enjoyed welcome. That. Thank you. Let's have a look in the mirror. Oh wow. Yeah, it looks really smooth. It looks smooth, it looks shiny. Obviously there is some sun cream on there. Definitely but looks yeah, a lot smoother. Yeah. It definitely, definitely feels a lot smoother than what it was before. It almost feels like, it feels like brand new soft skin. It feels really good actually. Um, appearance wise, yeah, it just looks like the pores are a lot less bigger as well. They look a lot reduced. Um, obviously, you know, I haven't got my makeup on so it's hard to compare, but certainly, it does feel fantastic. It just feels so smooth. I'm actually really impressed with the outcome of that. It's something that I certainly will incorporate into my routine of skincare. And of course, to go with that, lots of moisturizer tonight as well, to keep it nice and hydrated and sunblock as well, to make sure there's no burning of the skin. Yeah, I'm very pleased with that. skin I'm feeling fabulous I loved my microdermabrasion let me know if you guys have ever had a micro before and what your experiences are or if even if you have any questions for me feel free to drop me a line in the comment section below but for now take care stay healthy